Welcome to What They Got Right. I'm Samantha, and pull out your pencils, cause today, we're talking about homework. Just kidding. We're talking about my favorite video game company, Nintendo. Nintendo makes some of the most innovative games ever, but it took them a little while and a lot of extra lives to get their formula just right. This is What They Got Right with Nintendo. Mario, Pokemon, Smash Bros, fight! Nintendo time on What They Got Right! Nintendo's first gaming system was called the NES, and it came out in 1985. That's so long ago, you might as well call it ancient history. But this wasn't Nintendo's first video game. Their first video game was called Computer Othello. It came out in Japan in 1978 and was based on the board game Othello. There was no Zelda, no Mario, and no Waluigi. It was so boring that it would probably work as a sleep aid. Samantha, look alive. We still have a show to do. That wasn't the only weird Nintendo console. In 1995, they released the Virtual Boy. This was the first ever 3D video game system, which sounds cool, but for some reason, all of the games looked like this. That's right, they were all red. Besides all the games looking like a handful of Twizzlers, they also weren't that fun. Unless your idea of fun is staring at a red light all day, and if it is, you'll love this. Look at me! I'm a Virtual Boy game! Now, all these games are really different from the Nintendo we know and love. But for a long time, they didn't even make video games. Nintendo made playing cards. And even more bonkers than that, Nintendo started making playing cards all the way back in 1889. That's the same year the Eiffel Tower opened. If 1985 is ancient history, 1889 might as well have been the Cretaceous period. Now, I love playing Go Fish, but I'm glad Nintendo games aren't still made of paper. Except for Paper Mario. He's awesome. And Nintendo didn't just make playing cards. In the almost 100 years between when they opened and when the NES came out, they ran a taxi company, a hotel chain, they sold vacuum cleaners, and for a little while, they even made instant rice. Over the years, the only person that's had more jobs than Nintendo is Super Mario himself. In the end, Nintendo's rice, vacuums, and hotels didn't sell that well, and even as far back as the 1970s, playing cards were old news. So they decided to mix things up and try their hand at video game making, and the rest is history. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below in the comments and click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, let's see what I look like as a virtual boy game again. Whoa, so cool. Bye.